Hello, uh, good morning, and welcome from Epcot. A very warm, a very busy, busy Epcot. Epcot. So we've made a bit of a whoopsie. We, we did not realise that Food and Wine Festival started today. today. <laughs> so it's uh, busy. it's mega, like mega mega. Outside the park bit just then, super busy. Inside the park bit, super busy. Albeit it. But it has been open for 40 minutes. However, the reason we are getting in late is about, well, it's a little bit yeah. awful. We weren't going to make it here for rope drop. We were going to make it here half an hour ago. Yeah. And then our taxi driver went in circles in the wrong car park. Just really did. I don't then, think he really knew where he was going. No. Was Me neither. But it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It is, uh, we, yeah, it's just, it's just busy. It's just really busy today. It's just, when this has happened before, where they've kind of gone around the circles, we have ended up being charged for a few of us. We were like, yeah. we won't review it until <laughs> we definitely check they haven't charged us more for their mistake. Yeah, um, which they haven't. They so. haven't, so it's all good. Yeah. So we might review, we might not give you the yeah. um, um, But also we know how damaging that is. Yeah. We are, we did say when we were walking in, after we realized that the insane crowds here today are because of food and wine, um, because we've been here during food and wine we twice. Had the end of pale. And so when we were here in October, November, it was yeah. the end of it, wasn't it? Exactly. Than the of it. And we've seen video, videos, videos and photos of food and wine when it starts, and it's jam packed. So basically, we're just going to try and get done what we can get done and if it just gets insanely busy we're just going to go somewhere else today. There is supposed to be another storm today. Yeah, um, so that might clear some people out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, first thing is soaring. So test track's already an hour, Frozen's already an hour. We couldn't get the 7 o'clock thingy for Guardians, which now on. makes more sense seeing how busy the park is, but we're going to try again at 1. Um, so once we've done soaring, we are then going to go back over to the other side and do Mission Space because that's also a short queue. So let's go have a bit of an adventure today. I washed my hair all of an hour ago and it is bone dry. <laughs> nice. That's the best thing about living here. Oh, if this I lived is here a, every day, yeah. I'd never need a hair dryer. Yeah, Angie's hair is doing a lot better here than in Cali because it's yeah, not as uh, it's dry in the yeah. air. But this, oh yeah, and this is my shirt from the character warehouse. Here is the bargain frozen, shirt. The bargain frozen shirt. So it was originally sixty, wasn't it? Yep, and I'll I got it for thirteen dollars. But it was showing on the thing as nineteen. Yeah, and it was cheaper so it at was the till. What an absolute result! But yeah, we said we'd, uh, <laughs> we've both got IDs today, yeah. so we said we maybe go get a drink, and if it gets too busy, we might. Just head on over to, to Disney Springs else. or something, yeah. or go back to another park. Because or... we've got Discovery Cove tomorrow, and that closes at five. So if it's yeah. like, oh, it's a bit busy today, let's do half day here. We could finish up at Epcot tomorrow if we wanted. Exactly, and we'll just swap it because uh, we were going to go Disney Springs after Discovery tomorrow. So yeah, we're just going to be a bit flexible with it today because yeah. we know we've got a bit of time that we can move stuff around with. Yeah. So we will just see. Jade, are you ready to go soaring around I the world? I am ready to go soaring around well, the world. Well, you're cleared for takeoff. <laughs> okay, so we've just been going around the World Pavilion, filming everything for our food and wine festival video, which is already out, and you can find that in the description down below. Uh, but now we're back to filming the normal video for this week. We have just got ourselves on to Guardians of the Galaxy virtual queue. So we stopped, it is just gone one o'clock. We couldn't get the seven o'clock one this morning. Wally. Whoa, look at that Wally tea. Wally. Very cute. Did I sound like Wally then? Uh, no. <laughs> Close. Uh, yeah, so essentially we couldn't get the seven o'clock one this morning. We tried, I think we missed the boat just by a couple of seconds because we jumped on just this after seven. Bright. That is bright. And then we managed to do the one o'clock one, so we stopped a couple of minutes before one, got the timer out, 
and then what we did last yeah. week for um, California. So get a world clock up if you don't have yeah. um, an Apple Watch that counts down in seconds, yeah. and refresh the page about one to two seconds before yeah. it hits that hour. Because when the refresh, because if you do it on the one minute, not on the one minute, on the one o'clock mark, it will then you'll basically jump into that queue a couple seconds behind. Yeah. So if you could do if you can do it at like 12:58, 12:59. That couple of seconds it takes to refresh will sometimes put you at the front of the queue. But saying that, our queue time is still like 280 minutes. So that obviously includes everyone that's already in it. So that means that we probably are towards the front end of people that manage to get the reservation. So yeah, if you are going to try and do it, try and do it a couple of seconds, one to two seconds before. And also, um, when it says like 280 minutes, that seems absolutely ages away, but sometimes um, it will come up a lot quicker. Um, it, that's just a guesstimate as to how long it might take for you to get through. Yeah, so keep an eye on your app throughout the day because you don't want to go jumping into too many things. Yeah. When, and then stood in it, yeah. Yeah, you can get called a lot earlier. You don't want to be stood in an hour and a half queue for Remy's and then go, oh, your time is up to go to Guardians. So. Obviously, they are a bit lenient with it, and you they do are get. Quite, they you, are very lenient yeah. with things like Guardians, where it's kind of giving you such a large wait time. Yeah. And they are they are lenient with it. It's just the idea of the virtual queue is so that you don't have everybody just stood there in the queue. It's just a rough time for you to go there. You still have to queue up. In other news, on our day out, um, the weather is turning to poo poo. It is starting to rain again. Um, it is muggy beyond belief today. I am sweat patch central at the moment. It is just muggy muggy warm and Jay's trying on some ears. Plain black ones. I look like I've got no hair. They're cute. They're too oh, far forward on your hair. No, but your butt, yeah your big old bun is in it's the getting, way. It's getting warm again. Yeah. Yeah, we're not entirely sure what is next on the agenda. We need to go around the world pavilion again and we're gonna try some food and drink which we'll already have shared in the Food and Wine Festival video that came out a little while ago. Um, but we'll also share some of it in this video. Obviously ride experiences, all the other stuff that we're going to do today that is on the normal agenda. But it's just sort of up in the air at the moment, so we'll just take you along with us. So we are trying to avoid the rain by getting on to Mission Space. We're going to jump onto the uh, Mars mission, I think, and it's only a 20 minute standby. We are, we've been trying so hard to get a reservation for Space 220, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. Uh, Alright. history of mankind, space exploration. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. Jade, are you ready for liftoff? I am so ready. Have you done the orange one before? Yes, yeah, last time we were here and it made me feel sick. <laughs> If you are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators, or spinning, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniform That's crew member for directions <laughs> to the green team, less intense training area. How was your trip to Mars, Jay? Oh, horrendous as always. Yeah. I'm dizzy, so dizzy. Was it better than last time? No. No. It will never get easier. Okay. As someone who is prone to motion sickness, don't do this right. Don't do it. It's fun. It's not if you get motion. Sickness. I'm dizzy. So dizzy. Oh, yeah. Best thing to do when you're on the ride is start doing this with your head, be like, whoa! Then you get all like, whoa! Dizzy. They say not to do it, but it would be sick. There's a bag there, and then you know, yeah. enhance the fun. Okay, so we've been trying to get Space 220 reservations for ages. We weren't fussed about doing the restaurant. We literally Forever. just want to go in and have a drink and just see what it's all about. Yeah. Um, and the, there's no walk-up option on the app. So we were like, sorry, let's just go and ask. So we asked and they were like, oh, we can stick you in the line now, but we don't know how long it's gonna be. Got through to the check-in desk and the guy was just like, I can get you in there now. So he just sent us straight in. Hi. Yeah. 
Centauri Space Station. Whoa. Isn't that the party you told me about like earlier? Elevate your dining. Thank you. You're welcome. Space Station. Enjoy the Feel sick? No, you'll be alright. Yeah, yeah. Should I be Yeah. SV1, you are clear. <laughs> Thank you. Who's her now? I remember I'm you. Tired. I Very remember tired. you. Are you going to the cantina this weekend? Yeah. Okay, so we've just got our drinks. So this on the right is the Gamma Burst, which has got Grey Goose Strawberry, Lemongrass, Midori Melon Liqueur, and Strawberry Popping Pearls down in the bottom. And, and then this one is the Command Center, which is Hendrix Gin. Um, St. Germain elderflower liqueur, lemon juice, and citrus elderflower foam on top. And I have already had a little bit of it, so it was full all the way to the top with the foam. And then there's um, like the red bits on top. Jade, welcome to Spoo, Spoo, Spoo. I like Spoo. Okay, so we've been into Space 220, finally, <coughs> excuse me, um, so we only went in for the lounge area, <laughs> yeah. we... But you can, when you're sat at the bar, there are light lights and everything, so the lunch menu, you, can yeah. you don't mind sitting at the bar having the food, exactly. so um, you are allowed to eat. However, it's uh, food and wine festival day, so... We are going to be trying some snacks around the world instead today. But yeah, if you can't get a book in for Space 220, then just go up to the desk and ask. Because that's what we did and it worked. And 
think we said before we went in that they tell you that they don't know when they'll be able to get you in, but we got in straight away. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so it's just a bit of potluck really. But the drinks were super, super tasty. So I forgot to film a second drink because we were chatting, chatting, chatting. We were having a chit chat with Alex, yes. who was a kind fellow who sat next to us, and we were just talking about all sorts of things, Disney, etc., etc. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, Jade had the command center cocktail. Yes. I had the Galactic Galaxy something. I don't know. I've forgotten. And a crew something. And a crew something. I'm going to put the names of the drinks here and here. I can't remember what they were called. I just remember they were super tasty. <laughs> Both of yours were sweeter than mine, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Um, but not so sweet that you were like, ooh. Ugh. Yeah. That's, That's the end hot. of my sentence. I know. Oh. That's just hot. <laughs> I thought you I was just, no, I was like, I was just like eh. Toast. Um, we've also been inside for over an hour, so coming back outside is like, whoa, I can't it's so see. bright. Um, I cannot see. No. Anyways, we've got about another hour or so, hour to two hours, yeah, until we can Guardians. get onto Guardians. So, because of our surprise pop into Space 220, we are still yet to go um, around the World Pavilion, get some snacks, snacks. from the Food and Wine Festival, um, and just have a little look into some of the country's little yeah. shops. So I think that's what we're going to do now. We're going to make our way around the world. We are going to try and get on test track at some point today. Uh, we're not fussed about doing Remy's. The only reason why, we've never done it here. So, no, and it is different. It would be nice but to see it in English. It would. Know what exactly yeah. is said the whole time. But we have done it a thousand times in Paris. So we've always said that when we're here, if it's over two hours, we're not waiting two hours for something that we've done. So. And we would never get Genie Plus in because there isn't actually Enough. that many rides. Yeah, exactly. It Genie might Plus. Easy. Yeah. It might be. It might be worth it for other people who have younger humans. Yeah. Whereas um, for us, Epcot's open for a good twelve hours, yeah. and there's not enough rides to for us to warrant getting Genie Plus yeah. essentially. But yeah, we're off to go get some snacks. I think. Oh, we're going the wrong way. No. I think because I was going to get that go peanut butter creation. one. Oh, I thought we'd go to the creation shop. Okay. And then you can get the okay, so we're going to go to the creation shop and then so we're going to go get some of them peanut butter jelly wings. Rightio. So, we've just been buzzed to go for our spot for Guardians Cosmic Rewind. Um, Is that what the app does? Yeah, I, I got a ping on my. I got a notification. Mm, yeah, that please return to the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic cool. Rewind attraction. So, yeah, got notified that our spot had come up. And we just been and finished our snacks. Still got some more to go, but we're just taking a little break. Uh, we think we know which ones we're going to go get after the ride. Um, and as Jade pointed out before I started filming, our queue went down and then got them pushed back yeah, <laughs> for, it did. for our Which time. It's fine because as we said earlier, the time they give you is just a guesstimate. Yeah. They can't physically say it's definitely going to be between this time no. because where you get the hour slot, if a hundred people decide to come at the last 10 minutes of their slot, yeah. that already pushes back by 10 minutes what, when the next people might need to be called exactly. because they, they the idea of virtual queue is to stop you queuing for yeah. too long because even now, I don't know how long it's been out, but the virtual queue is still really difficult to get yeah. hold of a slot for. So it's obviously still a very popular ride. So without that virtual queue, there is the risk of you literally still having to queue every yeah. day. Exactly. Um, Which is mad. We'll pick up with you guys again inside the ride queue because I'm going to jump in these misters really quick before we go in the AC so I can chill. You know, it is rather impressive how big that ship actually is when you get up close to it. Isn't it? It is. It's not really pizza size though. Huh? It's not really pizza size though. You could put me in it if you want to. Sat in that? Yeah, there would be I many. could sit in there. It's a whole crew. No, it's, it's a single. Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, no, because it's not the Guardian ship. Well, it it's, a no, it's a Nova Corps ship, it's one person. It could fit the whole thing then. What if you got angry? 
escape. Do you not remember in Guardians when they fly them? Yes, but I'm just saying. There isn't enough people to get in that. What if you had a trainee driver? I think they have other solutions for that. Thought these ones were for lightning lane, they're not. Jade, are you ready to rewind the cosmics? Yeah. Should we go so for the back ready. again? Uh, yes, number nine. Number nine. So, we think we might have said this before when we were here last time, but if you can, our personal favourite spot is definitely the back of the ride. Uh, there's a reason why, and it is because it turns you round and the first launch part is the best from the back by far. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. Teleporting Terrans before, but since your molecular structure is very similar to Zandarians, it should work. It'll work. So long as you are standing inside the light ring, you do not want to know what happened last time someone did not stand where I told them to, okay? Stand by for teleportation. Here we go. Nova Prime, they're ready. Excellent. What you see before you is the cosmic generator. And in just a few moments, we'll be activating it so you can experience it for yourself. What's happening? I'm not sure. Our power's out. And the cosmic generator is gone. Here your mark. Go to Code Red. Prepare the fleet. And call the Guardians. Now. There is no cause for alarm. Turn off that alarm. 
I've got an important transmission coming in. Hey, what's up, Nova Corp? Our cosmic generator has been stolen. What? How? Why didn't we figure that? That thing's got to be worth a fortune. I am Groot. Good question. Yeah, who do you think took it? Perhaps that really big man outside your ship. That is a big man. I need to alert Nova Prime. I have been watching terrors for the odds. This species has failed. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. we didn't even know there was a test. He's got the cosmic generator. He's creating a new jump point. Jump point to where? Not where. So just jumped off of Guardians, super fun, whoa, as always. We were probably in the Guardians queue for I'd say, what, an hour? And uh, I've just forgotten what song we had. I was singing it on the way out. Well, I can't hear anything. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, burn, baby, burn. Oh, we can make a car. We didn't get to do this last time. Go on, Jade, you can make the car. Anglais. We've uh, just jumped onto the test track single rider because we're running out of time. So, power! Oh, that's a good responsiveness. Yeah, go on then. Bing! But if you're doing test track, you always have to design a car. Although me and Jade won't be riding in the same car. Uh oh. Well, we might do actually. Tom and Beth did last time we did. Test track. Get ready to test your design, okay. This is your vehicle. Okay, move on to vehicle testing. Okay, so do we just go ride it now? Yes. Okay. Anyways, single rider time. So we will catch up with you once we've got off the ride. And then it's peanut butter jelly wing time. Yeah, I think that's what you And get. maybe the pickle shake. I'm super tempted.
There you go. No, we got it. Hello. Goodbye. I'm glowing. I'm glowing. The fireworks were really, really good. Really impressed. Um, actually, more enjoyable. No, I don't know. I liked Harmonious. I know I got a lot of sl like stick, but I think Harmonious had more to look at. This was just lots and lots of fireworks. Yeah. Um, and quite the same fireworks. It was the same kind of fireworks, just on a different pattern. Yeah. But it was an impressive watch regardless, especially when they're blowing up about two centimetres away yeah, from your face. Yeah, they did the, fly, the, the again, yeah. right by your face. That was exactly. Cool. Um, and there was also some kind of helicopter playing um, chicken with all of the fireworks. Yeah, and that was just getting a right bit close. Bit, a bit uncomfortable yeah. watching that. Um, but yeah, I mean, right. good day. Guardian, again. Guardians was done. Test track we got done. We just single rided that because it was yeah. an hour and we literally got on in 10 uh, minutes. We did saw in first. We did saw him first, uh, that's correct. We didn't actually go and do the Mexican boat like we usually do. The three oh no, we didn't. We didn't even go in there. No, we didn't. We've we not have done it. We haven't got anywhere. no, we haven't been in the shops. We just uh, but that's it, fine. I blame that on uh, food, food and wine. And wine. Yeah. I, mean, I was gonna say wine and food. But yeah, I blame that on food and wine because we didn't know that was gonna happen. So normally we go around all the shops and everything, but then we got really focused on food and wine and trying those instead. So good day either way. Yeah, but. I think we found with this trip, because we weren't here too long ago, we have a list of things we want to do, but we're not like super strict with it. No. So when we were here last time, we kind of wanted to, to get around everything, because in that three weeks, we should be able to get through everything. Exactly, whereas um, this trip, we've got one day per park. And Epcot is never my favourite park. I will always say it, it's not my favourite park. I can miss it every single time and it wouldn't bother me, because... See, that's me, a bit much for me, you know, like... You gotta go. There's stuff to do here. It just isn't. I like. I wouldn't spend the whole day here. Yeah. Sure I would spend a couple of hours doing a few little bits, having a walk around the pavilion, um, taking some nice pictures of like everything around. Yeah. But it's not. To me, it's not the park that is anywhere in the world. But in terms of like having things that we want to get done, there we got a short. We had a short list of things that were like we have to do these, and that was like happily ever after. Tron. Guardians of the Galaxy, Fantasmic, that sort of thing. And my top, my top parks are always to do Magic Kingdom, mm. Animal, um, Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios because I feel like Magic Kingdom is obviously Magic Kingdom. You can't not do it. Um, Animal Kingdom to me is just it's so immersive in terms of being able to look at all the different animals. And I said to Sean when we were there the other day, it's more like you kind of need to treat it more like going out to a wildlife park mm. as opposed to a theme park. Because yes, there are rides there, but you don't necessarily have to do the rides no. there. There is so much more to do Because there's there. all that's, the animals! Yeah, that's interactive, but actually yeah. that's such a, a family-friendly place yeah. without any of the rides, without any of the characters. Um, and then this is definitely more of like an adult mm. park. There are some things that are catered to families and young children. Yeah. But because you have the food and wine festival and people do the drinking around the world, eating around the world, yeah. Um, I find there isn't much to do if you're not going to do that. Yeah. So you have to find joy in literally just walking around and having a look at everything, which is fine. The thing that's kind of like surprised me is how quick these days are going this week. Like it seems to suddenly be like really late in the evening and yeah, we're like, right. where's the time gone? Because like the last time we came here, I think it's like the last week rush because we are literally a couple of days away now from leaving. And it was the same thing when we came up for three weeks. The first yeah. week just went on forever and we finished everything in like a day and we're like, we've still got like four hours left. Like, do we go do stuff again or should we do something else? Um, but then it got to the last few days and that's when it was like, oh, running out of time, we haven't done anything. Oh, and if we think like of like the parks in comparison to California, these parks are way bigger. And yep. so actually, I don't think you can do most things in a day here. You would need about a day and a half. Unless you have, well, I'd say unless you have Genie Plus, but we had Genie Plus yesterday and we still couldn't get everything. Well, we got done. through most of the rides. Yeah. But I like. To be, I don't come to Disney for the rides. So I come to Disney for the shows. I come to Disney for the interactions. I come to Disney for the atmosphere. And so, if we were to do a trip where there was no rides, we'd get through everything, and it'd be a slower pace, I think. Well, if there were no rides, there wouldn't be anything. For you to do. No, there'd be very little to do in between the shows and stuff. No, because there's there's other that's what I'm saying, there's interactions like yeah. where you go like with here, you go around, you have a chat with the cast members, oh what have you been up to? Like and so like yesterday when we were at Tusker's house, um when we were talk I was talking to Angel while you were in the new restaurants 
and we were just having a nice chat about um, like all the different places she's been and we could have sat there and chatted for ages because there, there are different things you can have that are interactions without yeah. having to necessarily focus on ride, 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 ride. So I think there is, there is days where you could literally be like, do you know what, we're just going to focus on watching the show today, having a bit of a chill and going um, and have, like, spending time with the characters like we did in our last day of Disneyland Park in California. We didn't necessarily do loads of rides there, did we? we looked, but we had amazing interactions yeah. with the characters. That's what I was saying. Anyways, tomorrow is Discovery Cove Day. So we will not be vlogging that. No. We're going to have a chill day because all the food and all the drinks are included. We're going to swim with some dolphins. We're going to put our feet up and we're going to have some R&R &R for a day. And it's just not a vlog because you are not seeing us in our swimwear. <laughs> not um, happening. <laughs> but uh, we will be taking the camera and stuff out because we will be going to Disney Springs afterwards. Yes. So we will do a short vlog for next week for Disney Springs. And then you've got us on Saturday, as in not Saturday for you, Saturday for us at Magic Kingdom. And then Sunday, we Sunday, are they might, Sunday there might be a video. We will leave on Sunday, but we might be going to a park. We might be doing something else. We're not yeah, really sure. The only, like, so last time we were here, we went and did some hotels and that was quite fun, yeah. wasn't it? Um, I would like to get some venues because um, we had them in Disneyland Park. Yeah. I've had them in Disneyland Paris. I've never had them in Walt Disney World. But you couldn't get beignets here unless they were filled with chocolate or filled with cheese. Um, if you go to Port Orleans, um, the hotel, I think they do plain beignets like, like I would have got, yeah. like you would have got in California. But we're not yeah. sure if we're going to go there yet. It's yeah. our nearest so, Disney hotel to where yeah. we're staying. But you've got, up in yeah. Paris. So you basically got two more vlogs coming in for sure. Maybe three. Maybe three. And there might be a. Ma uh, Depending on what the weather is like on Saturday, we might take the camera and the gimbal into Magic Kingdom so that we can film happily ever after. But that's up in the air. So that, and if that's happened, the video may already be out. So enjoy that and the link's in the description if it happened. If it doesn't happen, then sorry. <laughs> but I think that's it for today. Yes. So thanks for following along with us. The link for the food and wine vlog that we are editing as soon as we get back and posting as soon as we get back is in the description. So be sure to check that out. Some of the footage will you would have already seen from this vlog, but there'll be a lot of stuff that you haven't seen. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok and all the usual places. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.